Hello and welcome to round 7 of the Bozra MSA GT3 Championship coming from the Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit on the Grand Prix uh, version of this circuit as well which has the tighter of the chicanes 16 turns here, track length of 3.2 miles an hour long race as usual, I'm here with Simon Underhill who's going to take you through qualifying results Good, uh, good morning Jason, so as we see, the qualifying was head up by Paul Walmsley this time. He qualified with a 154.9. His first pole position for Bosra uh, in this GT3 Championship. Then we see Craig Parks with a 155.3 of a second behind. And then we have the three acorn printing cars head up by Barry Bard with a 155.7. We have two Seagate cars, Neil Bamper and Ben Hackerson with fifth, uh, sixth and seventh. And then we have two motorsport auction cars, eighth and ninth, Alan McCain and Matthew Van Delde. Bill Gregory in 10th for Bowden Solutions in Intimacy and Looking at the back of the grid, we see Roll Just in 16th, 159. Dave Rowland in his Audi for Synology in 17th. Daniel Bailey in 18th, which is pretty good qualifying for him at 202. Martin Brandon, Bowden Solutions, 19th. Ian Thorne, 20th. Dave White in his privateer BMW in 21st. Myself, Simon Underhill for Synology, not posting time this week because I changed the car, so therefore. Don't get any results from this race. And back of the bid is Jonathan Beresford in his motorsport auctions for BMW. This should turn out to be quite a good race, especially with Sam Underhill himself. Back of the bid, wanted to do well. Yeah, absolutely looking forward to that. In the meantime, viewers, I uh, would really appreciate if you visited these social channels. Uh, you can see all the addresses there. But without further ado, let's get to the grid and see how this start goes. Like you say, Paul heading up the grid for the first time in this championship. So it'll be interesting to see if he manages to hold that as away they go. We can see uh, the yep, clean. run. Go on. Well, it's a clean start by a lot of the cars. You can see off the grid um, very well no uh, incidents. Yep, doing well except... Uh, Paul going into the first corner of Keith's position. A couple of bar uh, acorn cars there going wide a little bit but Paul, yep, has held on to that first place, got the whole shot down into the first corner which is super tight and slow and then into this stadium section which is very tricky on the first lap. Lots of sliding about. Craig already there. attacked by lots of things as well, Jason. Absolutely, let's go back to the start and see how everyone did. This is the second half of the grid. Someone... Uh, not and I'm not sure who it is. But, uh, seeing you get a good start there, getting round Ian Thorne at the back there. I'm not sure if I just saw Lee Bunker have a little bit of a jump start there, I'm not sure. What's the outfit it um, results into a penalty? And then Jonathan Beresford coming round the outside from the back. Three wide just there with the uh, Taylor, a, a 56 car, oh, and they've touched, unfortunately. That's Ryan Walker and, and Taylor having a little touch Taylor. through the yeah. second corner. But um, Ryan's managed to carry on, and here's his teammate, Chris Butterill, right on the back of Jonathan Beresford, who must have got a great start by the looks of it. Ah, yeah, he came down the outside. Oh. Yeah. From that angle, very difficult to see who was at fault at that, but um, Chris just trying to cut the inside. And unfortunately, they touched and took each other out. Yeah, pretty 50-50 to me, but I've only seen that once, so not sure. Um, hopefully, Chris manages to carry on with that race. Anyway, we're on board with Phil Gregory and his Bowden Solutions car. It says 19th or no, 10th, yep. there he is, so that's good. Going we're round. Just passing Matty Van Delden, who I think uh, got a time penalty for the yeah. chicane and had to drop back a few places. Got to have been a slowdown early this early on in the race. You're really going to uh, struggle there. But here's yourself already up to tenth at the end of the first lap. Not bad. From where was it? Twenty second. You started. Yeah, I think twenty second, twenty third. It was. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased. By first lap up to tenth, really good position. Here we Shame see you can't Bailey. score uh, any points. Oh, oh dear. No, Martin Brandon. Harry, uh, Marion Brandon, Martin Brandon, and uh, Daily Dan Bailey. Dan just. May not manage to avoid Martin spinning in the uh, Bowden Solutions BMW. Uh, he managed to get back on track just before Dave White in his private air BMW. A lot of BMWs in this series now, uh, Jason. Yeah, it seems to be the car to have at the moment. Uh, you've obviously changed yourself. There's Dave Rowland in the, in the Audi doing a bit of a spin. Recovers nicely yeah. though, by the looks of it. On board Willie really Bunker, and here we have a group of five of the BMWs Dave White, Martin. Uh, 
Brandon. And you've got Ian Thorne, Thorne in the Acorn there. car up there. Dan and Bailey and Ian Thorne. Yep, that's the ones. Oh, and another touch. Bit of a scruffy first couple of laps, really, from the field in general, which is a real shame. But uh, that one, actually, just a bit of a rub and everyone's carried on. Ian losing it a bit out of the tighter of the two options of chicanes here but more importantly Lee trying to go back up the inside of Martin Brandon does it come off they've both raced really well and unfortunately uh, Lee's kind of got a little bit held up by Ian who's obviously had a little bit of a struggle out of that last hairpin and allows Martin to get away interesting little segment there and we've got uh, Rolf just yeah, being overtaken by Rolf just and Taylor Lane that's the one Good overtaking manoeuvre. Yeah, Rolf there appears to have just kind of conceded that position, probably relatively wisely. Now we've got the two Acorn Audis, two twin brothers here, following each other. Barry nice. and Tony. Barry doing his usual. Barry sitting. <laughs> As you can see, Back I was... on the accelerator a little bit too early. Yeah, I was a couple of places behind, and uh, anyone who was watching the stream at the time will know that I was shouting and screaming at him there, not out of uh, any anger, but just disappointment that we were we were three acorn cars doing pretty well there. But he uh, he's good at recovery drives, is Barry, so that's good. On board with uh, Phil Gregory, looking at myself, just going up the inside, at the top of the hill, at the chicane, oh. just managing to make it stick. Get Great the, manoeuvre. The, the, get the position. And it's pushed Phil, Phil right off. Um, got it wrong, coming out of the bend. Whoops, never mind, Phil. Um, so, back. Martin Brandon getting a lot of time here. But, uh, who's that? That's. that's well, not... Chris Waterill just giving him a tap at the back. Yeah. Dan Bailey again. Doing well this, this race by lots of things, heading up this pack and managing to keep the position. Unfortunately, Martin just getting it completely sideways out of that bend, but managing to recover without going into the barrier and doing any damage. Yeah. Probably put off quite heavily by a tap from Chris, who was a lap down there. I don't want to uh, read too much into no, that. But I know this is a race that Chris wants us to forget. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. But here we've got uh, Matty Van Delden with a recovering Barry Bard, making quick moves I think through Matty's the field. Just letting him pass. Yeah, similar yeah, sort of story. Matty, Matty Van Delden, yeah, letting him pass. Knowing he's a bit of a car. Again, uh, Dan Bailey having a lot of exposure this week. And unfortunately, just getting tapped by in Thor. Um, no damn. And also, Dave White there are racing for position. And as you can see, Dave White just going around the outside. Just, I'm not sure if he touched, but just managed to keep his position. Did Dan there. I think they uh, did touch. Headed yeah. up to the up the top of the hill. Yeah, but and again, uh, Chris Water Hill just behind him. Who, fortunately, here. Oh, just dear. gets it on the grass and takes him out. Shaved for Dan. I know he wants to try and do well. And it looked like. He was doing as well and a good race. But he is improving, yeah. got to give him that. I've, I've given him a bit of stick on these uh, roundups, but he's definitely improving. So good job, Dan, and unfortunate to get taken out a little bit there. Uh, but back on with the racing. We've got uh, Dave Rowland, Rolf Just, and Lee Bunker following each other here. We're already on lap eight. These guys are nice and close together. And then another group this is myself, Neil Bamba, and uh, Ben Hackerson. We were having a, a so got ben, great uh, little battle. Bill Bamber and Ben Ackerson, same team, so let's just hope they um, remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I think this is probably uh, a lap that I would like to forget. Yeah, this is where it happens. I've, I've spun, we were having a, a really good little battle and I've lost it, but managed to keep it on the track. And then a, a certain Simon Underhill was right behind me after recovering that. But there we go, here we are uh, on board with, with Neil being at, under attack. By Ben. By his teammate. Yeah. Always tricky when you're attacking your teammates. Always tricky, but the rule is never take your teammate out. That's right. Good good shot from the back of this car. And ben uh, got, definitely got a great drive out, back, out of that corner. Uh, brilliant drive. To get the position of Neil Bamber there. Fantastic. He's just taken off as well. It's got to be half a second in front already. So there we go. And back at, with the leaders who are right with each other still after 12 laps. So you've yeah, got Paul Paul's still managing great, to yeah. hold that. I don't know whether you uh, were hearing over the team radio interesting little tidbit that Craig was mentioning when they were going through 
back markers that he wasn't going to attack during those bits. So real respect between these two to just make sure that they hold their positions and attack when when they've got some clear air. So that was interesting. Yeah, they're really working hard from what I can remember. And there were some, some comments about sweating and, um, you know, I've never raced so hard ever. So really yeah. good battle in front of the, 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 the race there. Yeah, Lee Bunker and uh, Alan McCain here. Motorsports auctions car and a private myself just coming out of the pits as well. Yeah, good. Uh, 12th position out after a pit stop, so pretty decent. Lap 13, though, so relatively early on in the race, uh, you, you've decided to get that out of the way. Yeah, um, Ooh, I was trying to try and maximise um, you know, what, what I could get from this race, even though I wasn't scoring any points. But obviously, Ben Hackerson just going over the chicane, he'll have a time penalty for that. Um, and as you can see, it probably just slows down and um, gets back into the race and starts catching yeah. tips that day. Why I think it was. If I, I've just remembered why, it, when you were pitting, I was holding you up a little bit. You were faster at the time, but I was keeping you behind. So I think that was part of the reason for that, if I remember rightly. Anyway, on board with the bunker and you getting some more uh, video time. Coming down to the yeah. first corner, see whether this comes off. Definitely closing yeah, in. I not be deeper here. And Lee, uh, knowing that that move was on relatively early on, tries to cut back, but you've made the corner, made a very clean undertake, uh, overtake even. And uh, falling behind down the there. Yeah, absolutely. On to the next victim. <laughs> so we're on board with uh, Paul. Not much to see from there. Lots of clear air in front of him, but a very interested BMW next to it. It's a, it's a good move, lots of space left by Paul, I'm not sure whether that was <laughs> intentionally left, um, but Craig sees the doors open and forces himself through it. Great manoeuvre, seeing how the uh, top guys do their overtakes, it's great to see. Lee Bunker following Alan McCain around the uh, last okay, into the last bend, just goes for the inside, tries Look for the position, but backs off sensibly, leaving Alan just to take the racing line and drive it over the year for another lap. Yeah, if a lot of these drivers um, could act this brilliantly calm at the uh, beginning of the race, we'd have some really interesting first laps rather than all the touching that goes on. Anyway, I had uh, managed to catch up with Ben Hackerson by this point, and I've got uh, Simon Underhill right behind me. Uh, we're going for a move. I tried this the lap before. Uh, fully alongside as far as I'm concerned. I don't want to go into too much. Fortunately, I had to stamp on the brakes and try and massively avoid a collision there. Mm. I managed to carry on. That leaves Alan McCain coming through again. Yep. So there we go. Um, that Lee Bunker. More, a little bit more uh, video time here as Lee comes past while I was trying to recover from there. And uh, we're going to have an interesting moment into the chicane. But, well, again, uh, Lee, Lee backing off sensibly, just allowing you to, to get the position back and, uh, and keeping on, on your gearbox, just to try and um, look for another opportunity to pass you there. Absolutely. Uh, very impressed with Lee in these first couple of rounds that he's done. Now, back with the leaders, and Paul, I was just about to mention, was dropping off the back of Craig a little bit now that Craig had made the move, and I think quite sensibly he decides that now is the time to pit. So that's lap, uh, end of lap 19. So here we have uh, Daniel Bailey running in 21st. Um, just lost position to Dave White, as you can see, but gets a bit wrong on that chicane and well, unfortunately hits a bump off the circuit and into the, um, into the barrier. Bit of damage there, as you can see, no, no bond on it. Yeah, so hard to rejoin. Looks like it tracks to drive it as well. Yeah, that's, that's a struggle. That's a, that's a, a definite drag it back to the pits situation so here we see Craig's just been into the pits as well the lap after oh no it's a couple of laps after Paul and during that time he'd obviously managed to pull in the background there I'll yeah see. he's managed to pull a bit more of a gap during those couple of laps that he had to himself cemented that lead a little bit we've got uh, Alan McCain chasing down oh. yourself yeah Alan getting it wrong on the grass Unfortunately, coming across the front of your car, Jason, and taking you out as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your well, your car's damaged. Could you carry on at that point, Jason, or do you have to go in for some more repairs? I was able to carry on. This is interesting from Alan's 
uh, point of view, he's trying to get back on the track. And as I just mentioned with Dan, it's really difficult being on the power there. It's only going to end one way. I, no blame on Alan at all. He's trying to uh, get back on the track, uh, and it's just unfortunate we came together. But no, I managed to carry on somehow. It's just a race I'd like to forget as well. Similar to Chris. Um, here we are with Chris's teammate, Ryan Walker, and being absolutely hounded by Lee Bunker, who's having a great race, I would say. Going around the outside of... What's that, turn six or so? Important, I think, was a bit... Something like that. Uh, six, it's around that end of the uh, stadium section and manages to make that move stick. It's brilliant. And but then straight back under attack by Ryan, who sends it back up the inside. And now they're going to be dragging down towards the Schumacher races. The Schumacher races, sorry, yeah. Uh, good thing having all these BMWs as well is that, you know, they've been quite um, comparable with each other. It makes it great racing. See Ben Axon here, Mercedes now, uh, sort of pulling in a Neil Bamber in a BMW. So yeah. He's definitely got power. We, he made this overtake earlier on in the race, didn't he? But then he's had some struggles and he's uh, touched Neil there as not well. Not your teammate, not your teammate. That, that move was oh, oh, not on either. <laughs> it does happen. Yeah, I've got to say, Ben, if you're watching these videos, uh, got to learn when it moves on. But enough said. Uh, Rolf just here. Having a really good race, uh, yeah, 15th itself. position. Um, is yeah, that you overtaking him? Yeah. yeah, and then Dave Rowland just behind him in, in the sister car, the Synology car, um, just getting the move as well. Yeah, so you've sort of helped him open the door and helped your teammate out getting past someone for position, so that's really good. And Paul here has closed right back in on the back of uh, Craig Parks, going for the move into the last oh. corner and they've touched and it just flips back end of the BMW yeah well, you have to say watch this now this is this is true sportsmanship this is Paul no he's made a mistake slows down for Craig he lets Craig take the position that is real true driver's sportsmanship and well done Paul and you can see that Craig almost doesn't want to take it back as well that that's there's almost no words for that um, really great job guys uh, very impressed over here um Anyway, moving on, back on board with Barry Bard, who's managed to drag his car back up to fifth after that early spin. Like I said, he's great at recovery drives. He's uh, following Ben here, who's stuck it in the wall. Unfortunate. The wrong, yeah, just got set on the um, kerb, gets the, the Mercedes a bit loose, unfortunately, like I say, and the uh, barrier. On board with Taylor Lane, following Ryan Walker in a 56 car. Taylor having a great race here, seeing as he again on the recovery drive, it's one near the um, very start of the race. High enough position, I think, just on the inside of Ryan into the last chicane. Massive drive. Move. Some real good power on that Mercedes, but unfortunately it's not so good on the brakes, definitely not as good as the BMW. No, not as good at riding the curbs either, I think. And uh, here we are, this must be one of the final laps. Matty Van Delden, in fact, this must be the last lap. And last corner, and uh, Matty had been chasing me down after that bit of damage um, with Alan, and it was inevitable he was going to make that position, so he's done really well uh, to end up taking that seventh place. And hopefully we'll get a shot of the leaders as well coming through. Yep, so here we are, a little bit earlier than that clip, was uh, Craig Parks taking a well-fought win uh, from Paul Wormsley, who, you know, both of them, Credit to them for a great race, some great battling, and uh, brilliant show of sportsmanship as well. Definitely, so, I say at the end of that race, they really congratulated each other for such a tight race. Yeah, brilliant, well, and as you can see, only uh, four tenths in it at the end. So great, uh, Craig Parks posting the fastest time of 155.6 early on in the race in lap three. Average lap times of 157 over 31 laps. So. Very good, especially being as they stopped for a little while on that lap. You can see all the rest of the results there. Interestingly, uh, 13 drivers on the lead lap, which is more than we've had so far in this championship. So you can see how that's affected the driver standings. Matty Van Delden moving up to a very impressive third, showing that um, getting good results each race is a great way of moving up the championship. Craig Parks continues moving up the championship, moving up four places during that. And then you can see the rest of the movement towards the uh, second half of the driver standings. Some interesting movement going on there as well. Dave Rowland in particular moving up three spots. 
What's that done to the team standings? Acorn Printing getting back onto that top spot after what was a horrible race in uh, round six and a bit of a recovery in round seven here at Nürburgring. Overall, a really exciting race, I would say. Um, brilliant fun to commentate on as well, Simon. Yeah, really good race. Even though I didn't score any points, I really enjoyed it in the BMW. Um, just watch for me now in the rest of the channel. Championship. I'm yeah. going to make up some of them points that I've lost. Much, it's got to be uh, mentioned moving 22nd to 6th. Anyway, uh, round 8 will be coming from Monza. That's uh, next week. So we should, by the time this video comes out, you'll probably be today this round comes out. So come and have a look. Uh, Bosra.uk for more information. Thank you to all the sponsors. And see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now.